Hi there, Duncan from 65. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find large Gmail attachments uh, so that you can reduce or manage the storage that you have inside of Gmail. Now, you'll start to get warnings about the amount of space that you've got taken up. Uh, if you're on a personal at gmail.com account, you only get 30 gigabytes of space before you have to then start to subscribe. You may not want to do that uh, and therefore trim down the amount of space you have. In Google Workspace, the allocation of space goes by the number of users that you have in your organization. So first up, let's look at how you figure out where all of your space has gone. So first up, you go to drive.google.com forward slash settings forward slash storage. And you'll get a screen like this, which will show you what you have in use. And then inside of your Gmail, uh, you can also access that through uh, what's going on down in this bottom left-hand corner. It'll tell you how much space you are using. In this particular account, I don't have very much uh, to display. So if you find that Gmail is the thing that is uh, taking up lots of space, uh, let's look at how you find those large files inside of Gmail so that you can then strip them out, delete those emails, and reduce how much you have. Now, from your Gmail interface, you can find any emails that you've got, which are large in size, and then go and delete them. It's fairly straightforward to do. So click on the search options box at the top here, and you'll see that we have size. So I can select you know, a size greater than or less than. And in here, I'm just gonna put 10, and you can see it says megabytes on the end. So this is a good place to start. This will find everything that is extremely large. And when you click on search, it will look across all of your labels, your folders, um, and all of the various aspects of your Gmail box. And as you can see, I've got a large one here, which is in draft, um, and so it hasn't actually been sent, but I've also got this video uh, that was sent to me as well. So I've got two emails here that I can uh, obviously delete. Now there's two things that you can do here. Um, the first one, which is highly recommended, is click on add to drive, and that uh, will move from your email to your drive. Now, very often what people do is attach a copy of a file into the email rather than using the Google Drive link to do it. So see our video uh, about how to use attachments in, in Google Drive or attachments in Gmail from Google Drive rather than uh, copying the file and uploading it. Um, obviously, if this is say a 10, it's a 17 megabyte file, right? So if I've got it saved in Google Drive and I then upload it separately into Gmail, all of a sudden I'm using two times 17, 34 megabytes of space for essentially what is just one file, which is 17 megabytes. So some sensible things you can do to uh, reduce the amount of space you've got. So if you don't have that already in Drive, you can click on Add to Drive. Um, and then once you've done with that, you can literally just then delete the email, okay? Uh, if you wanna save the copy uh, or the information within that email as well, you'd wanna copy that paste it into a, a, a document, for example, inside of Google Drive. Uh, so that's how you find those large files. Now, start with something like 10 megabytes. Um, those are all gonna be really large. And you know, even if you've got you know, 10 or 15 of those, you're gonna see a big uh, change pretty quickly. Bear in mind that the usage um, system, uh, this will take maybe 24 hours to update. So you're gonna do a whole bunch of that stuff, come back to it 24 hours later, uh, and then this will start to reflect uh, those changes that you have made. Um, so that's how you find big files in Google Drive in order to clean them up and delete them. And as it goes, I'm gonna kill off these two here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe below, and we'll see you in the next video.